Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do problem in equilibrium. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking statics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving this system and we need to calculate the tension at AB. So this is really simple problem. First thing, let's draw the free body diagram and then after that we're going to apply the equilibrium equations because this system is not moving so that means all the forces on the x and the y direction has to be equal to zero. So let's draw the free body diagram. So what I'm going to do is draw it at, at this axis right here. That's my coordinate. This is zero, zero, and then I'm going to draw all the forces. So let's do that. So I have, this is my coordinate. I'm choosing this to be positive X and I'm choosing this to be my positive Y. So now let's pick a different color to draw our forces. So what do we have? I have tension at AC going this way. I have tension AB going this way. And note that guys, all the forces that I draw, it starts from this point A. And then here I have the weight that's pulling down. This is my weight. Now also notice here that I was giving the weight already, so we don't need to do mg like in the uh, previous problem because we were giving the mass, so we did the weight is equal to mg. Now here we already given the weight, so it's already newtons, so it's an external force, so we don't need to multiply it or or do anything. We're just going to use that. Okay, so. Also keep in mind here that we were giving the slope instead of the angle, but it's really simple. You, we can still use that to calculate. So two things you can do. So you can either keep it this way and use three, four, but we also need to find the hypotenuse, which is five. It's just the square root of four squared plus three squared, which gives you five. So we could either do this and just use that, or you could also find the theta, which you're going to do Theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 4 over 3. Uh, this is the opposite over adjacent. That's what tangent theta is equal to. And then you can find the angle here. You can, you can do the same thing here and just use that. So use whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to use the triangle because in the previous video, we actually used this method. We used the angle. We were given the angle. And so here I would like to use... Uh, this so that you guys can see the difference between the two and how we use both of them. Another thing guys to keep in mind is that we need to break this vector into two components on the x and the y component. So we're going to have TAC, this is x, and then here we're going to have TAC, y. And same thing with here. We're going to have TAB, x, and this is going to be TAB, y. Okay guys, so let's break these components so I can show you guys here it's better and clear. So first of all, this is going to go this way and this is going to go up this way. So here I have ATCX and this is going to be equals to what? Because we need to convert it in form of TAC so we have less unknowns because we want to have two unknowns, two equations so that, we, that way we can solve it. So I need to convert this in terms of this vector, TAC. So what do I have? I have TAC and I'm going to multiply it by 3 because that's the x component and divided by the hypotenuse. So that's your TACx. Now for TACy, it's going to be the same thing except instead of 3, we're going to use 4 because that's the y component. So I have times 4 divided by 5. Now let's do for TAB. So I have TABx is going to be equal to TAB. And this time, my x direction is actually four. So I'm going to do four divided by five. Again, always hypotenuse. Now for TABY, I'm going to do it here, is equal to TAB times now the y component, which is three divided by the hypotenuse five. And this is going to go this way, and this one is going to go up. So now we can write our equilibrium equations and start solving for these two unknowns, which is TAC, TAB, but the question only asks for TAB, so that's the only thing we need to look solve for. Okay, so I have the summation of the forces on the y equals to zero. So we have, 
let's let's pick uh, this to be positive just like how we showed uh, in our free body diagram so i have tacy which is tac times 4 over 5 so let's write that down so i'm using this tacy which is tac 4 over 5 plus taby which we said it's equals to tab times 3 over 5 and minus the weight this is 200 newtons so we're going to have to have minus 200 and this has to be equal to zero because the system is not moving so it has to be in statics in equilibrium okay so right now we can't really solve this equation let's just rewrite it though let's take the 200 to the other side and let's call this equation one now let's do the second equation which is the summation of the forces on the x equals to zero this is my positive direction and what do we have so i have tacx which we said is equal to tac times 3 over 5 and i have minus because my tabx is going the opposite direction of the sign that we picked so it's going to be minus tab times 4 over 5 and that's the only two forces that I have on the x direction so it's this has to be equal to zero okay so let's rewrite this um, we can do it in two ways we can either substitute TAC for TAB or substitute TAB for TIC but the thing is we're just looking for TAB so to save time we don't really care about the tension in AC so all we need to solve for TAB so solve for TAC and then substitute TAC with TAB and that way you're going to have all the terms in TAB so you're going to have only one unknown and you go, you can easily solve it so let's do that so I have TAC is equal to TAB because I've, I took it to the other side now I have 4 over 5 times 5 over 3 so 5 cancels with 5 so I'm left with 4 over 3 times TAB so this is TAC so let's call this equation 2 and now all we need to do is plug in 2 in 1 so I have 4 over 3 times 4 over 5 TAB so I'm taking this term and I'm substituting it here TAC but I'm keeping this so don't forget this term so I have 4 over 5 now I'm going to do plus and I'm going to keep this term as it is because nothing changed there so I have TAB 3 over 5 and this is equal to 200 newtons so now i have only one unknown all i need to do is just rearrange the equation and solve for it so i'm going to do 4 times 4 that's 16 divided by 5 times 3 which is 15 plus 3 over 5 is equal to 200 newtons so i have tab is going to be equal to 120 newtons and so that's going to be your answer okay guys so on the next video we're going to do problem on moment of inertia so make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when i release the video and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah, everybody now.